A pleasant day to everyone, especially to the respective instructors and fellow student teachers. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Saival May Magaliano from St. Michael College of Caraga. And on behalf of my teammates, Alma May Kasama and Judilin Layao, I'll be the one to present to you our study entitled Factors Affecting the Licensure Examination for Teachers or Let Performance of St. Michael College of Caraga from 2017 to 2019. This study already passed the quality standards for international publication and is recommended for peer reviewer and endorsement of the editorial board. In addition, we come up with this study because as graduating education students, we wanted to know what are the factors that affect the lead performance of the graduates and as such, it will allow us to come up with an intervention program that gives access in promoting continuing development for an excellent performance in taking the lead. Now, allow me to present to you the introduction. The licensure examination for teachers or LET is a significant necessity fundamental to qualify the passage into the field of teaching profession. As mandated by Republic Act number no. 7836 or known as the Philippine Teachers Professionalization Act of 1994, states that LET ensures and defines the competence of graduates to teach in the teaching field. Once passed, the graduates are now able to receive their credentials as professional teachers, along with the rights and privilege as a licensed teachers to teach in public and also the private schools. However, let, on the other hand, encounter problems on how to provide a quality performance of the takers. That is why the main reason for the study was to determine the factors that affect the performance of education graduates to their licensure examination. And the findings of the study may enable the school to make an intervention program and to roll out significant improvements and guarantee the quality education of education students for better performance in taking the lead. So, this study um, would help students, teachers, parents, as well as the school administrators as they would perceive more their participation and preparation for the teaching profession. Now, for the framework, our study anchored Jan Dewey's curriculum theory, Warren Simmons' performance management theory of action, and lastly, Bernard Wader's theory of attribution. So let's have first to the John Dewey's curriculum theory. Now, the curriculum theory argued that um, curriculum should be relevant to the students' lives. In relation to this, to our study, um, curriculum is one of the factors which played a major role in improving the lab performance of the graduates. Now, in the second theory, the performance management theory of action emphasizes competence of teachers as the basis of the performance of the graduates. It implies the competence of a teacher to utilize proficient guidelines efficiently to help, to guide, and direct his or her students to get a quality accomplishments. Um, Teacher's competence is one of the factors of our study, which influence the behavior of graduates in taking the lead with significant improvements with their performance. And lastly, of course, the theory of attribution reveals that students' successes and motivation, and this is anchored based on the result of our study, which you will further know later throughout the presentation. This time, let me present to you the statement of the problem and it's so to answer the following questions. Problem 1. What is the profile of the graduates in terms of program, 
year in taking the LAT, academic performance, or their GPA. Number of times in taking the licensure examination for teachers. And the second problem, to what extent are the factors affecting the performance of licensure examination for teachers as perceived by the graduates to curriculum, teacher's competence, in-house review, facilities and resources, and of course, in and off-campus pre-service education. Problem 3. What is the level of performance profile of the graduates from year 2017 to 2019 in terms of general education, professional education, and of course, the field of specialization, but it is only for BS and English. Yes. Problem number four. Which of the factors affects the lab performance of graduates? And problem number five. Based on the result, what intervention program may develop? This time, I will present to you our data gathering procedure. First, the setting of the study was in SMCC main campus, located at Barangay 4, Nasipit, Agusan del Norte, Philippines. The respondents were the graduates of teacher education of SMCC who took the let and passed from years 2017, 2018, and 2019. Furthermore, we utilized the descriptive method design of the study to recognize the factors affecting the lead performance of SMCC from 2017 to 2019. We also utilized the survey questionnaire through Google Form, which consisted of a rating scale from 1 to 4. And 4 signifies strongly agree. 3 signifies agree. Second signifies disagree. And 1 signifies strongly disagree. More to that, the survey questionnaire is composed of mainly four parts. And these are the following. First is the graduate's profile. Second is the extent of the factors that affect the lead performance of graduates. Third is the level of performance. And lastly, which of the factors affect the lead performance of graduates? Now, furthermore, to thoroughly analyze the data, we utilize the following statistical tools to aid the reliability and validity of the test result, namely frequency and percentage computation, which is used to determine the profile of the respondents and their let rating. Yeah. Second, weighted mean was used to describe the profile the extent of the factors affecting the lab performance and the level of performance profile of the graduates. And lastly, regression was used to describe the factors that affect the lab performance of the graduates from three consecutive years, 2017, 2018, and 2019. Now let's have the summary. The summary of the factors affecting the lab performance shows that among 147 respondents who passed the licensure examination in years 2017, 2018, and 2019. It revealed that the respondents strongly agree in in and off campus pre-service education as the major factor affecting the lead performance with a weighted mean 3.57. This showed that the mentioned factor does affect the lead performance of graduates as they should have related provisions focusing on tutoring services, increased values in academics, counseling programs, and of course, adhesive training in practice teaching for preparation to be a licensed teacher. Um, hence, there are essential in overcoming the determinants for the performance of graduates. On the other hand, the weakest factor found to affect the lead performance as perceived by the graduates was the facilities and resources with a weighted mean 3.35. Therefore, based on the overall average as shown in the table, 
it revealed that the graduates who passed the licensure examination in years 2017, 2018, and 2019 strongly agree that factors stated affect flat performance with a total average of 3.48. Now, to support this result, according to Pacheco et al. 2013, the factors of in and of campus pre-service education significantly affect the lack performance of graduates is related provisions focusing on tutoring services, increased values in academics, and of course, counseling programs. Moreover, taking this examination requires adequate cognitive, emotional, and physical readiness. Now, allow me to present to you our conclusion and recommendations. So, but let's have first the conclusion. Based on the result of the data gathered, the researchers concluded that the strongest factor affecting the lab performance as perceived by the graduates was the in and off campus pre-service education, while the weakest factor was the facilities and resources. Now, um, Weiner's theory of attribution was anchored on the result stating that students' failures and successes are attributed in terms of the abilities, efforts, locks, and difficulty of a learning task. So it implied that graduates who put their abilities, effort, and locks together can perform well no matter how heavy the learning tasks are likely to succeed. Furthermore, um, the researchers made an intervention program designed to cater and meet the needs of a pre-service teachers. It would help them determine and how the significant effect of this on their examination performance. Thus, pre-service teachers and all future lab takers have a greater chance of improving academic performance and passing the licensure examination. Now let's have the recommendation. It was recommended that the school administrators must improve policy implementation to help further students and teaching force improve the licensure examination for teacher or let passing rate. Moreover, continuous monitoring should be done, such as surveying the students and identifying the weakness of students for training and development. Also, um, the researchers also recommend to the graduating pre-service teachers that they should undergo training, seminars, and demonstration in teaching to further ready them in the near future. The graduates should have a self-review for them to prepare well in their field of specialization, especially since this covers a significant portion of the lead item. So, here's the following literature cited in our study. And that's all for my presentation with our study entitled Factors Affecting the Licensure Examination for Teachers or Lead Performance of St. Michael College of Caraga from 2017 to 2019. Thank you everyone and God bless.